Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kay and this video is going to be my empties for the months of June and July. So, you might think two months, yes I missed a month, but also there's not that many. Literally just this, this few little bits in this basket here, so nice quick video. Um, and let's just get into it so um, as I said um, I missed last month so I decided to just combine the two together um, and, and talk about so as I just said I missed recording last month um, so I didn't talk about June's empties at all and we're sort of getting on a bit in to August now so I thought I'd just combine June and July get it over and done with and just start fresh for August for next month so first thing I'm going to talk about is this it is so it's the Beauty Bio the Sculptor Skin Firming Body Cream so you could either use this day or night it was just a body cream meant to sort of have some sort of firming abilities um just a little deluxe mini i think i got it in a glossy box may have been a look fantastic i'm not entirely sure um and yeah i actually really liked it it felt really nice when i used it um i can't say as i noticed too much in the way of um a firming ability um but that's just because i only really had a few uses out of it um but yeah it was nice to use it moisturized i was happy with that next i've got my um tdhc lip cream so these things i do power through as you can see i've had to dig away a little bit on the inside to try and get it some product I got to a point where I just didn't want to do that every time I used it. So I bought a new one, put this in my empties. I love this stuff. This is probably about the millionth time I've mentioned it. Um, it's really nice. Um, I never used to use lip balms until I used this. Because whenever I did, I felt like they were just making things worse. But this one doesn't. This one actually does what it's supposed to do. It moisturises, it hydrates, it's not cloying on the lips. Um, so for me, this is just my go-to lip balm. Um, another thing that I finished was, you can't even see it, it's all rubbed off the sides. But it's the um, Lumen, I'll put the title on the screen it's the lumen or lumine and it's the overnight bright sleeping cream um it's done um so it's, it's from their vitamin c range it's a night cream um i don't find it's too thick and heavy um but it's thicker than the day cream it's it's just enough for me um i love the texture i love the scent of it it's not too overpowering of that citrusy sort of scent but there's just a light little hint of it there um and yeah finish this i'm currently using a chorus night cream that i've got in um springs fab fit fun um but once that's finished i do have another one of these to uh crack open so yeah i love it i'm still going to use it but this one's done um another thing i finished is the balance me micellar water so this is the flash cleanse micellar water it's just a little um sample or mini 30 ml um and yeah my cellar water i used it to take my makeup off um i took it away with me when we stayed at my brother-in-law's in july i think and I, I just sort of plowed through it and finished it off so did its job it was my cellar water i can't really say anything else about it i don't think it was anything super special in the world of my cellar waters it removed my makeup it did its job 
Something else I finished was the deluxe mini size of the uh, Wella Invigo Nutri Enrich with Goji Berry um, Deep Nourishing Mask. So this was a hair mask. Um, I received this in a subscription box. It was really soft, um, just lovely to run your fingers through. I really enjoyed it. Um, would I repurchase? I've got a few sort of hair things going on at the moment and I did actually get another sample of this through the Look Fantastic um, sample service so I don't need to right now but it is definitely something that I would think about in future so that's that um, so something else I finished off another hair product was this so it was the Macadamia Royal Deep Nourishing Hair Treatment um, and that was from the brand Hask um, again I'll put the thing on the screen because I tore the top bit off um, I really 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 liked this one um, so I think if I was going to repurchase one of the two I'd probably do this one first um, the smell of this was just mm, really nice and it really did sort of smooth everything and soften everything um the invigo one was really good um but i just felt that this one had a bit more of a, a smoothing effect on my sort of coarser hairs i enjoyed this so much that i did actually look at um the brand in general and i have actually purchased a shampoo and conditioner um i think it's the orchid and truffle um range i'm not sure again I'll put it on the screen um but yeah really really enjoyed this um and if i got the opportunity to try this again i probably would but like i've just said i've got a lot of hair things going on at the moment so i don't really need to um next we've got another hair product so we've got the Aveda Rosemary Mint Purifying Shampoo so it's just a little sample I think I had it through Feel Unique I think it was one of the little extras you can have when you make a purchase um, I've had it a while I think I've had it since about January, February um, and again I took it to the brother-in-law's when we stayed overnight there and it just got finished off in the two nights that I needed it for um, and yeah I love the smell of rosemary so this was really pleasant to use would i say that it was worth buying a full size i don't know i don't think so um it was a shampoo it cleaned my hair it smelled nice but other than that i couldn't really tell you it's so small that i couldn't tell you what benefits it did or didn't have on my hair but it was nice i enjoyed it Next, I finished off this. So it's the Erno Laszlo um, Hydrophile. Hydrophile. So it's the skin supplement lotion. It's basically a hydrating toner. Um, again, I had this as a freebie, probably through Feel Unique. Um, I like to do the whole buy a certain amount of things and get a goodie bag worth a certain amount free i think i did this in like oh it would have been 2017 <laughs> and i didn't really crack it open for a while um and then when i did i really liked it i really enjoyed using it and then i realized just how expensive a full-size version was and decided that i wanted to sort of you know put it to one side and sort of make it last a bit longer um, but it got to a point where I needed to use it up otherwise it was going to expire so I finished it off it's really nice really good toner really good hydrating toner definitely did its job um, and like I said I did look at repurchasing but it was really expensive for a full size um, and I just can't justify it I just can't um so started using the Cordelie hydrating toner instead it's a bit more in my price range does its job 
do I prefer it to this? No, not really, but it's it's expensive. Next, I've got a lot of masks. So, um, the first one I'll talk about is this one. So this is the Skin Chemist's Rose Illuminating um, Hydra Gel Eye Pads. Um, I think I had these in Look Fantastic. Um, really, really liked these. So I'd never really used eye pads, eye gel pads before I used these. So I was a bit dubious about the claims. Um, you know, I've used face masks and I I I'll be honest I don't really notice too much of a difference when I use face masks I enjoy using them I do feel refreshed when I have used them um, but some of the claims that they make I just I'm looking going mm, I don't know I don't know it was nice but I don't know if it does all of that these oh I really liked these I was so sad that there was only one of them I used them and um, the idea was was that they brightened and, and firmed your under eyes and I just sort of went eh, 15 minutes with one of these it's it's whatever you know what miracles is it gonna work and no it didn't work miracles but I did notice a difference you know I took these off and considering I was very skeptical I did look in the mirror and go oh oh wow and I did feel like it looked like everything was a lot tighter and younger looking under there. So, uh, yeah, really happy with these. Um, I haven't repurchased any yet because I do have a lot of masks at the moment that I get through subscription boxes or that I just pick up if I see them at a good deal. Um, but I would definitely look at repurchasing these. These were really nice. Something else that was really, really nice that I really enjoyed using was this one. So this was the um, 111 Skin and it was the Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. Um, so I got a pack of these in FabFitFun for summer, I think it was. Um, I think there was five of them in total and I decided to crack one open. Um, they are super expensive if you're going to buy them as a product rather than as part of a subscription box. Um, so I kind of want to make them last but I'd been having a really rough week. I was feeling really just not very nice and I decided to cheer myself up. I'd pamper myself a little bit and I'd use one of these and yeah. I did like it, it did feel really nice. Like I've just said, did I notice all of the claims that it made? Mm, maybe not, but it did feel really, really nice. I do feel like it did brighten a little bit, um, but I wouldn't have said that a passerby that saw me before and after would have gone, ah, oh, you're brighter. Um, but yeah, it was really, really nice to use. Um, I tried this. And this was something I had in a subscription box as well. I really can't remember which one this one was from at all. Um, so this is the Magic Stripes Magnetic Youth Mask. So the idea of this is that sort of a, a magnet technology in here to improve your circulation and sort of get the blood to the surface and get it all pumping around and just makes you look a bit more youthful. Can't say that I noticed anything. Again, it was a face mask. It was nice to use, but I was left a bit sort of meh afterwards. I didn't really notice any difference. Um, it was just a face mask. Oh, this is going to get a bit repetitive. I can see it coming. Um, so this one, it's all a bit... Oh, still serum left in the bottom of some of these so it's all a bit sticky it's a bit gross sorry so this was from the brand okay i love this brand for face masks um and foot masks they do some of as well i really enjoy using them and this was the uh superfood acai berry sheet mask again i enjoyed using it 
did it do what it said it was going to do um no i can't even remember what this one said it was supposed to do um it smelled nice it's got fruit extracts in um i do feel like my face was moisturized after i used this um but again it was just nice to use broken record face masks i like them i should just stop there really shouldn't i I'm not going to. Sorry. Okay, so next we've got the oof, got the gold eye brightening and firming. Um, they, these were eye gels um, from the brand Vita Masks, I think. Yep, it's from Vita Masks or Vita Masks, however you want to pronounce it. Um, again. I didn't notice as much of a difference when I used these as when I used the Skin Chemist's eye gels. Um, but they did just feel really nice to use. Um, I was a bit confused as to which way round they were supposed to go. Um, I'll try and put a picture up on screen as, as to what they look like. But I couldn't find any information anywhere about which way round on the skin these were supposed to go. Were they supposed to go with the gold design, the gold side of the design against your skin? I assumed that was the case because it was the gold that was supposed to be doing the benefit. But I saw some YouTube videos of people using them where they were using them the other way around. So I don't know if I used it right. I think they need to make that clearer in their uh, how to use section. Um, but, but yeah. The serum on it was nice. Um, and last but not least, we have these little things here. Oh, this is so gross. I'm so sorry. Um, so these were from Patchology. And I got these in last month's Cohorted. So July's Cohorted. Um, and it was the Flash Patch um, Eye Gels and Lip Masks. Um, I can't say as I've ever used a lip mask before I used these um but i was actually nicely surprised um it didn't feel super weird or restrictive wearing it there was enough of a gap sort of between the sections that that sort of you know meant i could breathe um it's always useful um and yeah my my lips did feel really sort of um hydrated afterwards so that was nice and eye gels again they were nice they were eye gels i enjoyed using them so um that was everything that i used up during the months of june and july um sorry it was a bit repetitive in terms of the masks but anyway um if in spite of the repetitiveness and in spite of it being a short video you have um, enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I will see you all again in another video very very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!